Uh, good day, dear colleagues, dear chairpersons. For me, it's always it's a big honor to talk at this Congress. The name is a bit strange, uh, since the content is ahead of the shape, because we found out that what we did and what we argued about at the end of the road was found to be not that bad. And the matter is that the breast cancer surgery at some stage uh, escalation of surgery uh, could not be converted out of uh, life uh, uh, prolongation, though so it resulted in a big issues with uh, physical and psychological discomfort. So if we cannot with surgery prolong life, maybe we should think about quality of life. So the, there is a switch of the trend from quantity to quality. So thus, we see appearance uh, of organ uh, saving and reconstructive plastic surgeries as a part of surgical uh, surgeon abramentarium. It uh, resulted in appearance of uh, surgeons mammologists from uh, on, from cancer surgeons and wider uh, and appearance of uh, oncomammology units. Before that, in the world, the concept dominating the world was the need to do uh, reconstruction in two stages. First, oncologists do their surgery, and then plastic surgeons. Uh, work on quality of life. Since in the 90s there was no such specialty as plastic surgery, uh, we mammologists uh, started to use reconstructive interventions quite a lot. High breast cancer incidence and a good uh, Russian, so to say, basis for oncosurgery and good science quite rapidly resulted as, uh, in transformation of uh, surgeries in numbers to high quality interventions. And so the quality criteria is not only the radical type of intervention, but also good aesthetic result. Only by entering into the procedure room, seeing such uh, images, in these cases, non mammologists were the ones doing the surgery. At the world, you see focal mastopathy in light, we see fibroadenoma. At the center, we see mastectomy. And these are not some uh, small uh, uh, hospitals, but these are but, uh, general oncologist, uh, surgical oncologist, the surgery. And the fact of organ saving uh, surgeons uh, stopped to be self sufficient because one sort of surgeons were unsatisfactory. And so oncoplastic surgery appeared. As you know, it's a concept of use of rotation flaps as well as adaptation of mastopics and master reductions to replace defects of, uh, after organ uh, saving surgery. So oncoplastic surgery both increased uh, indications to organ saving surgeries and also improved their uh, aesthetic results. But as a result of organ saving surgeries, still oncoplastic plastic surgery has its indications, contraindications. Still, there will be patients with indications or who can choose uh, for mastectomy. And since there is mastectomy, then various reconstructive interventions will be of relevance. One, two type of reconstruction with expanders or implants, uh, flaps, or lipofilling. Mm -hmm. With increase of range of specific surgery, there is a difference between general uh, oncologist surgeons and uh, oncologist mammologists. Indicative interventions for oncologist surgeons were, uh, were most surgical ones. So to prevent uh, complications, uh, primary uh, mm, primary wound healing or early discharge. Then for mammologists, uh, the success mm, indicators are decreased, uh, not only decreased uh, general surgical complications, but also shape, volume, consistency, the symmetry of uh, breast. The symmetry means mm, uh, various symmetric uh, operations to reach symmetry, like mastopexis and others. Uh, breast reconstruction starts from reconstructions and ends up with aesthetic interventions. So we should say that we should work on reconstruction of surgeons and then uh, referring our patients to plastic surgeons is not right. It's a part of our job, and which also increases additional specialization of homologous surgeons and also may, brings us further from oncologists. Can we resolve those issues only through the tandem of uh, with plastic surgeons? Uh, the final aesthetic result is very important for oncologists, and their role is very important. Finally, aesthetic of uh, surgeries became to be more important, not due to plastic surgeries, because of course they're better, but aesthetic results are better due to oncologists' role, because they started to retain skin, uh, nipple vela complex, prepectoral reconstructions. Uh, since if oncologists uh, remove all covering tissues, then there will be no, uh, we cannot talk about any reconstruction further on.
So as I mentioned, dominating concept for the need of uh, two team uh, interventions. Uh, it used to be like that. And then finally, Paul Professor Munzenava said it's a good option when uh, breast uh, removal and reconstructions are done by one and the same surgeon. We always thought that we are going ahead of the flow uh, and with the appearance of plastic surgeon, we will treat oncology and they will do plastic interventions and all of a sudden we found out everything we did all those years uh, was found to be in a proper way and then at the end of the day we are not the last ones. And, uh, so, breast surgeon concept, when you've heard about that? Uh, at one of the conference, uh, Maurice, uh, uh, in, there was a surgeon from the UK talked and he told about his activities. They calculated the number of clinics, surgeons and surgeries, or breast surgeons in the country, and they calculated it's not enough of them. They started national educational project, as a result, number of uh, surgeons uh, increased, number of centers increased, number of surgeons increased, and number of surgeons, of course, increased. So it was very effective national project. In our sentence, there is no uh, all national project, but there was a quite good alternative. International School of Myoplasty in Kazan, Moscow Breast Meeting, White Knight of St. Petersburg, Academic School of Oncoplastic Surgery, or Breast Plastic Surgery. So all those events uh, always were associated with uh, uh, sessions on the breast reconstruction, with live surgeries, and also there were various courses, cycles, master classes, and um, uh, foreign uh, trips and others. It was all uh, fit nice into the concept of continuous medical educations. As we never said, you should study all the time. We, in the world, they just studied, but here we work on this way during the last 25, 30 years, when we slowly, uh, so to say, mastered this new field. And reconstructive surgery became an integrated part of surgical treatment for breast cancer. And it's quite symbolic for me to talk at this event, because at the beginning of the, of the 2000, we, we, we made a talk on reconstructive surgery, it's a white night of uh, uh, so conference, and we felt ourselves like being two uh, aliens as, uh, because uh, people thought that we are fighting cancer. Why are we talking about plastic surgery? And it's very nice to hear that it's not that much time passed, and uh, none of the conference on breast cancer uh, are organized without section or session on breast reconstruction. At least 80% of Russian regions are present uh, or have recon breast reconstruction. Uh, and we should know uh, that it's not, uh, it's, it's, it's not normal that the mammalogy is doing plastic, plastic surgery, but it's considered not normal if they're not doing that. There, are, there were two ways of, of the trainees. The first uh, surgeon, uh, oncological surgeon start to do this, who thought that uh, with the, there are two surgeons, sectoral resection and mastectomy, but now we'll go and learn how to create flaps or expanders. But finally, start to clear that reconstruction is not just a well-made uh, flap or expander which uh, wasn't exposed, by it, uh, but more just the folds, symmetry, consistency. Uh, consistency, it was the division. Those who left this field, those who continued. So a mammologist uh, or mammology surgeons, those who continued to work on this field, and the quality of our interventions improved later on. Uh, surgeon mammologist, Actually, it has two key terms. First of all, surgeon. surgeon uh, surgery in, in treating breast cancer is not the way to obtain material for morphologists and chemotherapists. So it's not the right to uh, decrease the role of surgery up to some minimal uh, levels. It is a full-fledged, self-sufficient com component of combined breast cancer treatment and mammologist. Mammo because um, uh, uh, breast sign is a, uh, breast is a sign of uh, female and sexuality, and the pa patient should feel um, comfortable in clothes. The result is not good, but patient is fine. It's surgical failure because surgeon should be uh, satisfied with the surgical cosmetic result. A woman should feel herself as a uh, normal uh, social and sex uh, being and uh, with normal sexual life. And so, even quality of life or after reconstructive surgery should mean return to normal pre-cancer uh, performance. I mean, we shouldn't say patients, you had cancer, that's why you should stop the two out of any life-related uh, activities. So, surgeon mammologist is one content is ahead of the shape. So, there is no such a specialty like surgeon mammologist, and uh, it's kind of likely we don't know, uh, we don't know if it will appear, but there are specialized mammology units where surgeons do uh, intervention only on breast. There are surgeons uh, where only breast is mentioned the highest incidence rate is not only 
men, women, but also in the country, uh, in the population in general. The highest uh, fraction of operability and respectability, the highest number of surgeries in any cancer facility, in any cancer hospital, the largest number of conferences on breast cancer regarding breast oncology and uh, plastic interventions. But there is no such field like surgery and uh, we hardly can see it in the future. So what I said, the continent is ahead of the shape. That's what I mean. We are actually here, we exist, but legally we're non-existent. Thank you for your attention.